Good evening, everyone, and welcome to The Final Word. Every night, we take a hard look at the stories and provide you with multiple points of view from here and around the world. We bring you music and news, music and trust. I'm Rico Hizon, and this is The Final Word on CNN Philippines. Transport regulators give the green light. Fares for jeepneys, buses, and other ride-hailing vehicles will go up by October. The country's flag carrier is flying through turbulence from virus outbreaks, bankruptcy to cyber attacks. Philippine Airlines President and COO Stanley Nung tells us how the airline is navigating through tough times. And we unveiled the works of art at this new Filipino gallery in New York. The founder of Silverlands joins us from the Big Apple. Commuters brace yourselves for higher fares next month. The Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board has approved the petition of transport groups for additional fares. Stanley Gehete joins us now for the details. Stanley, how much is this fare increase? Recall the LTFRB increases the fares in traditional and modern jeepneys, taxis, buses, and transport network uh, vehicle service or TNVS. A one peso provisional increase was approved for traditional and modern jeepneys for the first four kilometers. For traditional jeepneys, the fare will be 12 pesos with additional one peso and 80 centavos every succeeding kilometer. Modern jeepneys will charge 14 pesos with additional 2 pesos and 20 centavos per succeeding kilometer. The fare for ordinary buses will increase to 13 pesos from its current 11 peso rate. An additional 2 pesos and 25 centavos will be charged per succeeding kilometer. For air-conditioned city buses, it will be 15 pesos with 2 pesos and 65 centavos per succeeding kilometer. The fare for ordinary provincial buses is 11 pesos with additional 1 peso and 90 centavos for every succeeding kilometer. Flag down for taxis will be 45 pesos with additional 2 pesos per kilometer. TNVS or Grub, specifically the sedan type, will be 45 pesos. Base fares for AUV and SUVs will be 55 pesos and hatchbacks and SUVs 35 pesos. The 20% discount for senior citizens, PWDs and students will still be in effect. Increase for, for UV Express, however, is still pending. Meron pa yung UV Express kapafile lang nila last month. Uh, Depende will have to get another, another round of uh, consultation with Meta and other stakeholders. According to one UTAC party list, one of the petitioners for the fare increase, the current fares are still based from around 50 pesos per liter price of petroleum products. That is why they urge authorities to increase fares before the year's end. Piston welcomes the development as it means additional income for drivers. Kung dati-rati nakakaabot tayo ng 6 up to 700 passengers a day bawat sasakyan, ngayon swerte na tayo 4 hanggang 500. Kung matas po ang magiging pamasay, matas yung pamasay at wala namang kapasidad ng ating mga manggagawa na magbayad ng pamasay, eh, yung ituloy yan din na pawawala yung ating, uh, yung ating mga pasero. The LTFRB says the decision was based on a study of its franchise planning and monitoring. And that's the latest. Back to you, Rico. Well, Stanley, uh, transport groups have been clamoring for these fare hikes, but it seems they are still not enough. But the big question is now, when is the effectivity of these increases and what has been so far the reaction of commuters and drivers? Well, Rico, the LTFRB is still preparing the fare matrix and this will be effective on the first week of October. Of course, drivers and commuters have different opinions regarding fare increase. Depende kasi yun. Kung tumataas naman ang, ano natin, ang crudo, I think understandable naman na tumaas din yung fare price natin. Siyempre, yung budget, yung budget po sa bahay, lalo madal maapektuhan ma din yun. Kasi bibili ka, lalabas ka, makamasahe ka. Ngayon, naghahanap pa akong trabaho. Okay lang kahit hindi pa muna sir kasi kawawa naman yung mga pasero. But transport groups like Piston believe about 98% of the country's population will benefit more if prices of goods will decrease by way of removing taxes on petroleum products. 
Rico. Do you have uh, data, uh, Stanley, on how much the total increase in the prices of petroleum this year will be? And uh, will there be another round of uh, hikes in gasoline prices next week? Rico, according to the Energy Department Oil Industry Management Bureau, there was a net increase of 16 pesos and 50 centavos in gasoline since January 1 this year. 34 pesos and 80 centavos per liter in diesel and 29 pesos and 90 centavos in kerosene. We also ask some oil companies and while official announcements usually happen every Monday, they said that they don't have any final numbers yet but increased in petroleum products uh, will still be possible due to peso depreciation. Rico. Stanley Guetta, thank you so much for that update. Joining us from Quezon City.